everyone, welcome to another Q&A. You asked me questions on my Instagram picture and I'm here to answer it. So let's get started. First question from Cynthia Larios. What works better for you? Higher reps or lower reps to build muscle? Me, personally, I do drop sets. I start off with, uh, say, 12 reps, then 10 reps, then 8 reps. And every time I lower my reps, I up my weight. That is the biggest thing that I do whenever I'm trying to build muscle. Jade, I'm pretty sure it's Jarrell, but with like a dot in between. When are you gonna come to College Station and train? I actually thought, I've never been to College Station before, but I've actually thought about making a trip out there. So if you guys want me to come to College Station, let me know, because I am definitely down to come visit and train out there. Favorite US city to visit from Swiley17. Um, so far, I would have to say Austin because it's like only two hours away and I go there a lot. And as you can see, or as you can probably tell, I have quite a few Austin vlogs on my channel. So if you want to check it out, I'm pretty sure my last video was an Austin vlog. So yeah, go check it out. Austin is number one right now, but I still have a lot of traveling to do, so it may change in the future. From Hadassah Bramov, that's a pretty name. Where do you see yourself in five, oh, she asked me a lot of questions. Where do you see yourself in five years? Do you want kids? Do you want a family? And lastly, do you want to stay in Texas forever? Okay, to answer your first one, I, I see myself in five years, hopefully married, successful, at least with my first child. I do want kids. I do want a big family. And I don't think I want to stay in Texas forever. I don't think that's, no, no, I don't want to say, I've been in Texas for so long, I definitely feel like there's better places out there to raise a family. EzzyR561 says, how was life before fitness and how did you find fitness? Life before fitness was very bland. I honestly can't remember what I did. I don't even think I really did much. It was just living life and being hair. How I found fitness was probably through YouTube and through just seeing other people starting to get, not really people, but seeing other women starting to get into the gym. After I found fitness, I feel like I started finding more like what my passions were and started learning a lot more about myself and just everything. Uh, ever since I found fitness, there has been a lot of growth in my life and I'm very, very grateful for that. Today in PE, I we were doing so many exercises, I got tired. What? You're not supposed to get tired. You need to get stronger. We did drink water. Oh, okay, that's good. Before Always tea. drink water. Stay hydrated. Ed Feaster Project, what, what is the first thing you do in the morning and the last thing you do before you go to sleep? The first thing I do in the morning is pray. And the last thing I do before I go to sleep is probably either read my devotional, listen to worship music, or pray. It's usually the same thing. Sometimes I wake up and just put on worship music, um, Christian music, or it, it, it varies, but I, I start my day and end my day off um, just really focusing my mind on Christ and getting my heart right. Uh, what's your nationality? I am Belizean. My family's Belizean, I'm also Caymanian. I uh, grew up in the Cayman Islands and I'm American. So yeah, I was born in Houston. Brandy Chanel, what's something you've wanted to do big or small, but never quite found the time to get started? And why haven't you started? Actually, this is something I thought about yesterday. I really, really love dance. I used to take dance classes growing up. I also used to take piano classes and um, I've been thinking a lot about getting back into dance, um, possibly even starting piano lessons again, especially because I want to actually start writing music and start singing and getting in the studio. Fun fact about me, not many of you know, if you follow me on Snapchat, I do sing here and there, but I used to write music all the time. I love singing, I love dancing, but the reason why I haven't started taking dance class yet, the place that I really wanna go is actually a bit of a drive and um, that's probably the only reason why I haven't started yet, but I've been thinking about it a lot. And piano lessons, just probably the cost, really. I do have the time for it, so it's just like making sure I have you know, enough money per month to put towards that 
and towards dance and towards everything else that I'm trying to do. Natural T1. What relationship advice would you offer young women? Um, relationship advice, I'm really not, that's not my cup of tea, but uh, what I do have to say about that is as a woman, uh, before you get into a relationship, be sure that you are confident in yourself as a person and be sure that you are not getting into a relationship in order to fill, sorry, in order to fill your own voids or in order to fill your own insecurities. Be sure that you are secure in yourself before you jump into a relationship with someone because that is very important along the lines. It will cause issues. So love yourself first before you can love anyone else. So that is my advice. What do you eat on your cheat days? Caitlin Rose, Miss Caitlin Rose. I eat everything. I like sushi, I like pizza, I like burgers, I like cake, I like cupcakes, I like cookies. My little brother says egg sandwiches, uh, everything. I am not a picky person. And whenever I wanna indulge in something delicious, it's just whatever I'm feeling in the moment, that's gonna be it. What's your favorite car or dream car from Lord underscore Dens? My favorite uh, car, or actually my dream car is actually, I really want to own a Jaguar at some point in life. Don't know why, I'm just attracted to Jaguars and that's literally on my goal. Like once I'm successful, I'm by myself a Jaguar. A Damien 91, not sure if I'm saying that right. How do you stay focused and not fall off track? Nutrition mainly. So the best thing for you to do is to track your food. Um, if you really want to stay on track, track your food. That's actually a hard question because a lot of people struggle with nutrition more than actually getting in the gym and working out. But really um, not eating out as much. And even if you do eat out, just make sure prior that it's something that fits in your actual um, like your meal plan just you really gotta gotta be strong-minded exercise self-control as well because there's always gonna be temptations when it comes to food around you especially because cookies and all that is my weakness I like to kind of sneak little thoughts in my mind like oh you know you deserve it or oh it's a special occasion when it's really not a special occasion it's probably just like a Monday have self-control track your food and just don't eat out as much you just really gotta want it like what's your goal really really want it and put your mind to it and don't let anything distract you from reaching that um let's see do you think it's possible to have a godly relationship with a non-believer if so how do wait how do you become the influencer and not the one who's being influenced uh that's from train to grow one i do think it is possible to have a godly relationship with a non-believer but really pray about it and don't force anyone to any into anything. Just be firm on your beliefs. If it's meant to work out, then it will work out. God will keep that person in your life. But if it's not, it like it will not work out if that's not what God's plan is for you. But do what you can. Read your Bible. Go to church. Do what you do, and you will uh, become an influencer. Just like I said, be focused on your own path, and whatever you do in your life, uh, God will use that to plant seeds into his life and hopefully you'll start getting him to start reading his Bible, start going to church, start being more interested in what you're interested in. Really, really pray about that. Spoopy small fry, how's life? This is really funny because this is my little sister and I literally laughed when I saw this, but life is great. <laughs> life is great, guys. I'm just really trying to do my best really trying to do my best and I really want to just push forward and do the best that I can do for myself and to just keep on moving forward and uh, just yeah try to motivate and inspire as many people as I can that's just really like what's really big on my heart is to motivate you guys show you guys unconditional love and be a great influence on my little brothers and sisters little brothers and sister. <laughs> Ooh, somebody said, do you have a P.O. box? I might just open a P.O. box, actually. I was, I've been thinking about that the past couple weeks. Stay tuned, because I might actually do that really soon. That's from Ramirez94. Last question, that's from Rems underscore 10. Which of the following health factor is the most important to you? If you had to choose one and why? Eat, sleep, or training? Um, I would have to say 
Eating is very important. You definitely need to eat. That literally makes or breaks you. Like, you can be training in the gym, you can be sleeping all day, and but you can be eating horrible, horrible foods in big bulks, or you can be eating nothing at all, and it will make no difference on your body because you're not giving your body the right nutrients, you're not feeding yourself to grow. Sorry, guys. And um, so, yeah, I would have to say, and plus, I love food. Why would you eat? Eat's gonna be my number one answer, of course. Yeah. Rhymes 10, shout out to you. That's a good question. Well, that is it, guys, for my Q and A. <laughs> um, I might be doing one again in the future soon because I love answering you guys' questions so you guys can get to know me more. And I'll give you a little advice here and there. It can be like relationships, it can be working out, it can be just life. I just enjoy talking to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, share this video if you really loved it give this video a thumbs up and comment show your support because i love you guys so much i think julian wants to say bye you want to say bye julian say say bye also did you literally read mackenzie's um question i did read mackenzie's question oh also isn't it a small fry at her end it's poopy small fry poopy smoothy spoopy <laughs> spoofy i don't remember <laughs> all right guys well that is it I will see you in the next one. Yep. Yeah.